Hey guys, it's me, Sarah, and I'm back. And, um, ooh, do I have some stories to tell you all. But anyways, uh, if you have ever seen any of my posts, um, you know, they're just basically about typical life and anxiety and stress, which is a big part of my life. And it always has been. And I'm just trying to deal with the situation right now. And I'm trying to get through my stress and anxiety and I'm kind of sharing my story and I want you guys to share your story with me that way I know I'm not alone I don't want to be alone I don't want to be the only one which obviously I'm not but it's always nice to have um, you know just other people's stories you know I want to hear them they make me feel better they make me feel like I can do this you know and so anyways um, I was having like severe panic attacks and mind you I'm going through a lot of stress and the stress that I'm going through is financial it's also due to a divorce and it's also due to a custody battle so it's pretty much everything that you know you can imagine clumped into one big stress ball and it's sitting like right here on my chest and it's making me not want to breathe right and it's making me my mind go crazy so um in that case, I decided to get off my medication for the exact reason why I was taking it. Stress, anxiety, anxiety attacks. And I was on it for about eight years. And so I was taking the most uh, strongest medication, which was Xanax. And uh, yeah, it worked, um, but it didn't help get rid of the problems and the issues that I was having because it was a big band-aid and it was covering it up. So I decided to get off of it. I was doing okay until basically shit hit the fan. And I realized, uh-oh, I've been putting all my important things that I have to get done to the back burner, trying to get better. Now that I'm better, I'm getting worse because I haven't done anything to fix my situation. So anyways, that's when the panic came back full force. Put me in the hospital, the ER twice because I was having day after day after day of panic and absolutely horrible feeling. Um, you know, couldn't drive, couldn't do anything. And if you all, if any of you have ever lived in a, a very hot part of the, part of America basically, or anywhere in the world where it's extremely hot and in the summer it gets over 100 degrees and you have anxiety, it makes it 10 times worse for you to be able to go outside and uh, do anything because you already feel like it's hard to breathe, it's hard to catch a breath, and then when you're in heat, it's hard to get a cool, fresh breath of air because there is none, so you have to basically go inside and use the AC. So anyways, my anxiety attacks were getting worse because of the heat out here in Las Vegas. You know, I do live in the desert and um, just the stresses of my son starting school, my ex who was trying to take my house, which I paid for fair and square. I just bought it three months ago and um, I used, actually I used money that I got from a huge accident that I was in that, you know, that I got paid for, which I would take everything back just to be normal again but unfortunately I'm disabled because of that accident broke both legs my hip injured my back my spine everything so this uh, gentleman decides that he wants to come into my life and try to take my money so um, now I'm fighting him in court what a gentleman right Mo mother raised him good anyway so these are just some of my stressors not to add a lot more um, you know so I, I just want to share with you guys that yes, I got off my medication and then they put me on an antidepressant. These antidepressants that they put me on so far, and I did tell them that I've had a long, a hard time on antidepressants in the past, um, just one day on them, and my mind felt like it was going crazy. And so um, I tried, I think the longest I've tried an antidepressant was maybe like a month, you know, and it just nothing you know it didn't really help so um all in all basically the only thing that was going to help my anxiety was the stuff that you know they don't really like to give and uh, i wish to god that there was something else out there and this is kind of why i'm making this video right now because right now i'm in this situation they put me on paxil i've been on it for only two days now both days i woke up extremely 
panicked, extremely panicked. Now, mind you, they gave me Ativan to get through um, the panic attacks, but I this Paxil is making my panic attacks worse, and it's making my depression worse. And it's been two days. I I feel flush like throughout my body all the time. I feel really anxious. I basically take the Paxil uh, or not the Paxil. Um, I take the Paxil at night. I take the Ativan throughout the day so I can feel normal. And I just don't see why the heck I'm taking this Paxil. And because I called my doctor today, and obviously I'm not clear headed right now because, you know, this medication. So I called my doctor today and I said, look, this, you know, I don't know if this is normal. You know, I read online, a lot of people said that it was normal and it takes a week or two to get used to, but this is what Paxil is doing to me. And he said, no, that is not normal. He said, um, it should not make you feel any more anxious than you already are because it has an anti-anxiety in it. It doesn't work for me. <laughs> and this is what I have a difficult time doing. My dad and myself, our bodies reject a lot of things. There's only a few things out there that'll work for us. Unfortunately, those things are considered to be bad, really bad. So such is life, right? You know, you find something that works and all of a sudden it's taboo. Um, so I have to be a guinea pig to all these other medicines before, you know, I prove to these doctors, you know, hopefully I'm keeping my hopes up that I can find something. Now, this doctor recommended that he puts me on Seroquel, which I've never taken before. And I asked him what it is. And he said, oh, it's kind of a psychosis, uh, bipolar disorder drug. And I said, no, I'm sorry. I am not going on any hardcore, crazy drug like that. You know, that, that's where I draw the line. It's getting a little out of hand. Okay, I have anxiety attacks because I have stress. I have stress because I live, I'm alive. You know, I care, I function. But I am not going to be mentally spaced out when I have a nine-year-old child and, and I won't be able to do anything on these psychosis drugs. He's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm not saying that you have any of those issues. I'm saying in low increments, it can help with anxiety. I'm sorry, but no, <laughs> I'm not taking anything that could put somebody in the loony bin, you know? And so it's just ridiculous what these doctors, and now I'm not, I'm not critiquing him and saying that he's a bad doctor, he's just brand new. And he just started, and he doesn't even know a whole lot about taking medications and what to give, what not to give, what not to mix with and what to mix with. So I gotta give him a little bit leniency here. But mind you, when you're dealing with somebody who has problems with medications or they have anxiety, you gotta remember they have anxiety because why? They're anxious people. They are scared of new things and trying new things, hence new medication. I think you all understand me on this one. So we are more prone to having a bad reaction to a new medication. That's just how we're hardwired. So if this, if in, in fact, this medication is supposed to make us feel this way for the first couple of weeks, tell us that. We need to hear reassurance because we're those people that need to hear that reassurance. Although we could read it, we also wanna hear it from a doctor. If the doctor says, no, that's not supposed to happen, bells and whistles go off in our head. We start panicking, we freak out. Oh no, we're not supposed to take this. This isn't supposed to make us feel that way. Let's get off it right now. How am I gonna feel the next day? Oh great, you know, and our, and our minds just start going crazy. So anyways, all I have to say is, it's been a uh, it's been a crazy guinea pig ride trying to find the right medication to take for me, and uh, you know the antidepressants would be great. They'd be wonderful. Take one pill a day and feel great and not have. But you know what? Honestly, I'm not finding anything that helps me, and this has been going on for almost ten years now. So if any of you guys have gone through this and can explain to me what worked for you, maybe, and that you understand what I'm going through, please share. 
because I do not want to take a benzo my whole life. You know, I just got off a benzo. They put me back on a benzo because nothing was getting rid of my anxiety and my panic attacks. So if it's, let's say if it's therapy, um, if it's, you know, some kind of, you know, something that I haven't tried yet, just reach out and let me know because I'm really curious to know what else I can do to help myself and not have to deal with doctors that um, don't really know what they're doing because sometimes, well, most of the times I found that the ones who are going through it, the ones who have really had the anxiety attacks know how they really feel, you know, no one else can understand how what we go through but ourselves. And so we have a fight and a whole war and a battle to fight here. And we need this to be strong. And we cannot depend on doctors to mess with this for us. We have to be strong and confident in knowing what we need. So I'm sure you guys out there know what, what you need. So a little bit of help and advice would be great. Again, my name is Sarah Merritt and you know, just uh, share with me your stories. And I love to hear them and I definitely will listen to them because I, you know, the more the better for me right now. I am just trying to sort through this life right now and I'm trying to be the best mother I can be. And I'll be 37 uh, in a few days here and I'm not getting any younger so I need to figure this out quick. And, um, you know, I'd love to enjoy life like I used to. Maybe not to that height but, you know, at least somewhat enjoy life like I used to because I want to live, you know, I want to enjoy my child. I want to enjoy this earth and I don't want to take all these crazy, you know, drugs to do it. So if there's something out there that you guys stand by, then let me know and then I can tell my doctor about it. Okay. Thank you guys. And again, my name is Sarah Merritt and I'm out. If you have any questions for me, just ask, um, like or don't like or don't watch uh, as long as I can reach one person that's my goal okay bye